Hi everyone, so today I have the Spellbinders June uh, Quick Card Kit of the Month to share with you. Now I already did a whole unboxing and I've used it in um, a lot of my different projects, the cards and uh, cardstock that are in here and maybe some of the accent pieces. But uh, today we're going to work with like the chipboard and the actual things that are in the kit here. So um, again, this is for June 2023, it's called A Little Hello. And uh, Spellbinders did send these items free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small Commission if you ever purchase items to those links. So thanks for using those. And again, like I said, I've, I've pretty much used up a lot of the cardstock here, a lot of my card bases, but I'll go ahead and pull one of those out now. And today we're just going to have some fun uh, with the items that are in here. So let's see. So you know what? We have Shaker Mix. Or like a little fun mix. Um, so I'm thinking about doing is, of course, some beautiful background paper. And these butterflies right on top really get my attention. And then maybe putting some acetate behind one of these frames and then making a shaker out of it that way. So uh, let's just get ourselves like a real focal kind of, oh, how cute is that? That's so cute. Um, I was just thinking you can do it like a double shaker, you know? Look at this guy. We have some with the butterflies. Oh my goodness, so many of these are so cute. I'm looking for a shape that's just easy to kind of cut down. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and go with this one first. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut down uh, this paper. Uh, let's say, you know, I like to mat it within my uh, card base. And actually we can definitely just pop in a piece of cardstock behind that if you would like, you know, just to add more color. You have something like that with like a green edge or the light blue edge or maybe the pink. Uh, just for a little pop of color. Let's do that. So I'm going to use this whole piece to stick that down and then this one I'm going to cut down to four and eighth by five and three eighths and so I'll be right just back. Glue these guys down and funny enough you know you do have an example of something like what I was thinking here. So they have the little um, frame there and if this didn't have like tinsel you see this smaller piece of like tinsel um, you could definitely just use the dimensional adhesive that's in here to make the whole little frame out behind this and then if you have you know sequins and things that are large enough they won't fall out but generally you want to use for a shaker oops sorry um, a dimensional foam adhesive that will um, just go all the way around your image or whatever is that you're making into a dimensional um, piece. And then that guy, and I'm just going to glue this guy down right on top. And of course, you could also use the double sided adhesive that's in your kit, which is really nice. But I'm going to glue that one down and then I'll be right back. This is so pretty already. I mean, what a gorgeous card base with that pop of pink back there. Um, and then, you know, I had my frame and I was going to have it like this. But then I thought, oh, but what if we have it like this? I mean, the flowers can be coming down from the top. That's cute too, right? And then that way we can put a sentiment here and it wouldn't be just like kind of awkward. And you can definitely do it this way and put your sentiment still there too, which is really cute. Um, okay, so I have a scrap of acetate, just stuff that I have. Honestly, if you wanted to and you don't have something like that, you can definitely take like this carrier and trim that down and use that as the acetate. Um, for sure. Uh, right now what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball this. We don't need it to be perfectly obviously the same shape, but we do need it to cover that um, aperture there. So let's just go like in here. Cut that away. And oh, kind of straight across here. Now I was thinking about this. You can definitely use your double-sided adhesive on this to stick that acetate down. I usually go with the white glue because um, it'll never come apart from that. I, you know, this is going to stick to acetate, which is very plasticky, and I have a feeling that's going to work really well. So you can just kind of go like that. So I'm going to frame this out really quickly, just like what you see me doing. Okay, and I'll bring it back closer. Just you see, I just line that out. Now this is just to stick the um, acetate down, um, and you know. If you want to, you can still add a little wet glue um, and just pop that on there and that worked out really well. So that'll hold that. We're going to put another adhesive anyway um, around the very edge so 
nice and quick. If you're using a wet liquid adhesive with the acetate, what happens is it just kind of moves around <laughs> for a long time until it sets up, which takes a while because it's plastic, you know. Um, it's not porous like some of the things you might use. And having mentioned dimensional adhesive, you think I'd have mine ready. There we go. I will help I have enough on this roll. If not, I have to pull another one out somewhere. Yeah, I think we should have enough. Okay, so with this, just again, if you have really big sequins, you can leave gaps if you just have um, like dimensional adhesive, like what comes in the kit. Just leave some very small gaps, but just kind of put them close together. But when you're doing this, you definitely want to butt it up. So once you let it go, the next piece needs to really butt it up against the next one. So just right up against there frame it out and then I will um, remove the adhesive backing and sometimes that takes a little while to pick off the carrier so I'll do that off camera and just get it as close as you can snip that off and that's perfect okay so we have that going and then I'm just going to take the carriers off okay I'll be right back so one of those backings try to make sure your acetate is as clean as possible and put this to the side over here for a moment because we're going to open this up and I see I already have some tinsel <laughs> on my work surface so Obviously, it's somewhere. Um, generally, I'll dig in here with like a little spoon, um, but you can definitely just pour some out. I have some really nice subscribers who sent me little spoons and little shovels like this in the past. So just a little something. Again, I don't go too, too much. Since we do have tinsel in here, and tinsel tends to get a little static electricity, one other thing I should have done before I removed the <laughs> carriers on my um, dimensional adhesive is just you can use a little anti-static pad to help you with that and I'll put this like right up here oh my gosh how cute already I'm gonna turn this over and give it the big squish <laughs> that's just kind of how I like to do it that way you're not pushing on whatever's in the front and there you go look how beautiful oh my gosh so cute really really cute mix that they created for this again it has like fimo butterflies little like uh, sprinkles very soft pink and like iridescent pastel -y colors little pink um like fimo slices some um sequins really cute so what i'm gonna do now is just kind of go through these guys i think some put something here i mean you can definitely fill this whole area in right but i always do a little less is more and that's just my style <laughs> Uh, what I love about these carriers is that you can definitely take them off and then see what you would like to put where, you know, all these. Oh, how cute. The little taggies. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I already want to use one of these little guys. But if that's already there, then this should probably be like over here. And that's just because I think that's adorable and I need to use that. <laughs> so we're going to pop that up there. And I liked it here, but since we already have something kind of calling our attention there, I'd rather put it here, you know, so it has its own space. And so, yeah, I'll just go through and kind of see what are these little guys I would like to put on here. Oh, that's cute. From the heart. Okay. And I'll be right back. Full sentiment. Like this is one of the things that make you different are the things that make you beautiful. Now, since I have this and then this is going to be lifted off, what we can do is place some dimensional under there. Now I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball and see how thick the dimensional was I used before is and I'm going to just cut into this um, like this and then add it on here. I'm thinking I might have to double it up maybe maybe not we'll see it's obviously very sticky so we have that. Let me see if that helps. And then if not, I will add a little bit more. Still kind of leaning down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... I would double it up, but I think what I'm going to do is just add more, just so it has some sturdiness behind it. And that way, at least that'll kind of keep it up. Let's see, let me see how I have that. Nice and straight. Okay. 
There it is. So again, even though it comes down, when I put the two, it'll really help it just kind of maintain its sturdiness instead of like getting squished later on. So that is that, guys. Again, a quick and easy card. It has a lot of detail. It is super cute. Um, if you want to line behind this, you could have lined that so that you don't see the butterflies, you see something else, you know, uh, in the background. Just, you know, give yourself a little measurement and then just like we did the acetate, you would add it behind the uh, foam adhesive. So you'd put down your foam adhesive and then you'd add a background paper if you wanted that. And I would just say like cut it two and a half inches by three. And that'll definitely um, line the back of your shaker if you wanted to just add another color right to your card. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, <laughs> little glimmer from the other day. Um, thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. Hopefully that gave you an idea. I mean, super quick and still really cute with lots of um, detail. And uh, again, you can pick things out of the shaker mix itself and maybe add some sequins out here or like lots of different ways to use these items so thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one i'll have images a little too up. early so i will have images coming up i'll have the links in the description box again i received the total package i'll uh, link that video so you can see the unboxing of everything and as always when you are a current member you get 10 percent off the spellbinder site every day and they are always adding new things all the time all kinds of different companies i don't know if you've noticed they're bringing in different um manufacturers different lines of uh, products so just really great stuff but uh thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one bye now